Welcome to another QGIS tutorial. Here in this tutorial, we will prepare a map using QGIS. Okay. Before proceeding to the tutorial, please hit like to the video, subscribe the channel, and click on bell icon so that you won't miss any tutorial from the channel. So now let's get started. So after you get your work done and ready to produce a map, first select the project and then go to the new print layout. Here you can give it a name. I will give a name and land use map. So now click OK after you give the name. This new print layout window will appear. First thing we need to do is make sure that the size of the map is OK. For this right click in this blank area and select page properties. And over here we can see the several page sizes. Even you can set, the, uh, set your custom size of the page from here. For me, I will be selecting a size. So after this, we can set the orientation of the page from here. Here I will select landscape one. Now here we can see a page with a size of landscape orientation, where we are going to make our map. In this page, I will be making major map over this area, scale and coordinate system in this area, regional scale map in this area legend in this area and title and other information in this area and the f and finally the map will look like this after this tutorial you will able to customize this kind of map by yourself and prepare your own study area map so for this let's get started first go to add item and select uh, add shape and select rectangle now left click on top left corner hold the click and move it to bottom right corner here and here we can see a rectangle to add the major map go to add item select add item and then again left click over here and hold the click and move the cursor here and release the click we will get this map here first determine the extent of the added map layout we can select and move the whole item by clicking here and to zoom in or zoom out the content click here you can zoom in or out the content by clicking control button and moving the scroll wheel of the mouse so let me fix the control um, fix the content by zooming you can fix the content by manual scale input for this go to item properties and on scale type the matching one the less value means smaller scale you may try multiple time to find out the perfect scale you can give 55,000 and if this does not work you can give 45,000 or you can try another value so that it will fit perfectly after this uh, if you click over here you can move the map only here let me fit the map perfectly now let us add a grid for this select map in the item scroll down and you will find a grid and then click on grids here after that click on green plus button here add on green one add on grid one and select modify grid here in the interval give the value on x and y at least divisible by 20 of the scale value to know the scale value go back and scroll up and here in main properties you can see 50,000 so back to the grid here in x value give the value divisible by 20 uh, after the scale value that is 25,000 2500 sorry and uh, same in y value after this scroll down find the draw coordinate and check on the draw coordinate here we can see horizontal coordinates taking lots of space on both left and right parts so let us change them into vertical for this go to left and in horizontal select vertical ascending again uh, go to right and in horizontal select vertical ascending now to add the north arrow go to add item and click on north arrow after that to your preferred location left click and hold on 
and drag on either side according to the preferred size of the north arrow. As you finish the part of the project, don't forget to lock the item so that it won't move accidentally and create problem in further steps. For this, click here to lock the 8 item. So now let's add the scale bar, text on the scale and coordinate reference system information. First click here to add arrow to give separate area to the items. For this click on add item, add arrow, left click to the starting point, give a straight line and again left click to the destination point and after that right click to end up the line. After that, go to item properties and make sure to uncheck known of known to both start and end marker. Again, let's give another line. Repeat the same process. For skill bar, Go to add item and select scale bar and place it here. Go to scale bar properties from here. On segment, check on fit segment width and you can give your own value for length and height of the scale bar as per your need. After this, lock the scale also. For text scale, go to add item and select add label. Over here, type scale uh, 1 is to 50,000 as our scale of the map is 1 is to 50,000, which we can check from map 1 properties. Getting back to scale text, we can add the coordinate reference system also. Which in my case is WGS84 UTM Zone 44 North. After this, we can change the font from here and the size of the text from here. We can change the font color from here. And on horizontal alignment, Take on center. After this, let's add regional map to show where the study area lies. But if you don't want to give regional map, you can just skip this part, okay? To add the regional map, go to add item, select add map, and again left click over here. And hold the click and move the cursor here and release the click. We will get this map here. First, determine the extent size of the added map layout. As we already did, we can select and move the whole item by clicking here and to move zoom in or zoom out our content click here. You can zoom in or out by clicking control button and moving the scroll wheel of the mouse. So let me fix the content by zooming. You can fix the content by manual scale input also. For this, go to item properties and on scale, type matching one. The less value means smaller scale. You may try multiple times to find out the perfect scale. You can give the value manually, okay? So after this, you can check over here. You can move the map only. Here, let me fit the map perfectly. Now, to add the line below the map we did previously, go to add arrow. Left click to the starting point, give a straight line and again left click to the destination point and after that right click on the end up line. After that go to item properties and make sure to uncheck known to both starter and end marker. So now for legend go to add item and click on add legend. Here uh, we have unnecessary legends also so modify is the need. Uh, select legend in the item and in item property scroll a bit down by and you will find legend items so now uncheck on auto update here now remove the unnecessary legends for this select the item you want to remove and click here in red minus sign 
you can change the name to a preferred one from here. Just double click on the text of the item and change H per your need. For now, it seems ok for me. Before moving further, lock the legend also ok. Now again add another line below the legend. Repeat the same process as earlier. Go to add arrow, left click on the starting point, give a straight line and again left click on the destination point and after that right click to the uh, to end up the line. After that go to item properties and make sure to uncheck known to both start and end marker. Here after you add the line, log the line from here. So let's add the item and other information. For title go to add item and select add label. Give the title of your map. For me, I will type land use map. Again, after this, we can change the font from here. And the size of the text from here. We can change the font color from here. And on horizontal alignment, check on center. So after you finish the title, now let me add the label from here and write uh, prepared by QGIS world. Now to save the map layout in image format, go to layout, select export as image, give a name and select the destination folder where you want to save the image and that's it. So here is our complete map layout. Friends you can customize the map layout as per your objective. Basically, if you master this tutorial, you will able to prepare any sort of map layout. We hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Please like and share the video, subscribe the channel. Have a good time. Happy learning.